You might have noticed how cold the weather is, but that didn't put Alton off. He decided to go to Clue Bay sailing. Clue Bay, County Mayo. Can you imagine a better place to learn how to sail? Tomorrow morning, we're uh, going to do a manoeuvre. We're going to um, try to sail without, without the rudder. And I want to explain the principles to you so that you understand what you're going to do tomorrow. Let's assume that the, that the centre of resistance is here. In other words, the boat is going to pivot around this point. If you apply the wind force in this direction, then the boat is going to be pushed from this position to this position here. In other words, if this is the direction of the wind, it's going to be borne away, it's going to bear away. Whereas, if you push the force of the wind against this sail, then, uh, that being the centre of effort, the boat is going to be pushed into the wind. In other words, it's going to um, luff up into the wind. Therefore, if we want to bear away, let us assume that we are travelling in this direction and we want to bear away, we want to go over in this direction. What we do is we play the mainsail and the jib, one against the other, so that we maintain an even course through the water. Glenon Sailing Centre is based on Colin Moore, an island in Clue Bay, and is a sailing and holiday centre for young people. When you go on a sailing holiday, you have to be prepared to get wet. As you can see, everyone's well togged out and ready for a good laugh. We do in Bear Island uh, complete beginners. Here in Collamore, we try and have about 25% beginners, and the rest who have done one week or two weeks with us or a bit of sailing outside mm. of Glenons. In this course, the beginners are kept on their own for the first two or three days, and then they're mixed with the, with the more experienced people, and generally at the end, everyone's at the same level. Tell us a bit about Glen Arms itself. Um, when was it founded? It's a French organisation. Yeah, it's a French organisation founded after the last war um, to give young people something to do. Um, it was about 1947. Came to Ireland in 1969 in Baltimore. Um, then it moved to, we set up a second base in Bear Island in Bantry Bay. And then uh, last year we moved here, our third base in Ireland. And so you always have French people coming over to sail in Ireland and vice versa. Yeah, and um, we keep half our places here for French people, uh, although at the beginning, at the end of the season, um, they tend to be a bit more, a lot more Irish, but uh, July and August is half and half. And do Irish people go over to Glenelg yeah, in France? This year we had two courses in France, a um, total of about 50 people went over uh, to Brittany and to Corsica, uh, two courses. The manoeuvres they're doing, doing at the moment is sailing without the rudder. It's designed to teach them how to sail the boat, manoeuvre the boat in the event of a rudder breaking. It also shows them how, to, how important weight distribution is in sailing a boat, which is very mm -hmm. important if you're racing or in just trying to get the best out of your boat. One of the first things, most important things that we require in our boats is safety and um, how well they perform um, in the event of a capsize or in strong weather. Maybe it's the high standard of safety and fun that make people like Adam come back a second time. I started sailing with Glen Anne's last year in September. I went, I did a course in Bear Island for two weeks. And you've come back now to do a, a second course? Yes, I'm doing this course in Colomar. Have do you ever sailed before, before you went to Glen Anne's? No, I haven't. I never sailed before I went to Glen Anne's, but I, I have sailed um, in other places besides with Glen Anne's oh, yeah. since then. And where are you from? I'm from Dublin. Brigitte, you're from Paris, is that right? Yes, okay. <laughs> and uh, this is your first time to Ireland? Yes. And it's also your first time to sail, isn't it? Yes, of course. Yes. Do you think you'll get any sailing after you leave Glenons or after you leave Ireland? Yes, maybe in France. With Glenons? Yes, yes, surely.
website is learning how to cope when something goes wrong, like an accidentally capsized. We're not going to do it accidentally, we're going to do it on purpose for you. With the help of Liam, Suzel and Dermot, my intrepid companions, here is how to capsize. Thank <laughs> you.